quick tip is that at times I'll take a piece of uh, like a template I'll make a little template here in this case it just happened to have a piece that I'm going to paint on later on but it's a four by six so I can just use this each time I want to make a like a little layout and just so now I don't have to go around making my borders all the time and I have my border that I can go in and work with to make a little quick um, idea sketches also if I wanted a square if I want to change the dimensions a little bit I just slide this over a little and make my mark there and then I can make it into a square or any other type of a format that I want to to use and this is not mandatory but some of the quick uh, tools that are good this water soluble uh, pencil white this is a sometimes I'll use a uh, brush pen you know so it's like using a brush with ink black ink permanent ink inside and a brush that has this water in the inside already so you know, I want a little bit more than just like if I'm doing like a quick study and if I want color I'll use like some watercolors I have a little kit that I carry around this little kit here and it has paints in it and here's my watercolors inside so I can do quick studies. A lot of the old painters used to go out and make quick studies with watercolor. And this thing has my so a few tools, pens, pencil, things like that inside. So I'm gonna make a quick little sketch here using these the tools that I just showed you. I'm going to make a quick sketch and normally you don't need all of this kind of information when you're doing a, a quick idea sketch but I'm just going to do it so that I can show you some of the you know, working with the water soluble um, tools. So usually what I do is I look for the big shapes to make my drawing easy. So I know I'm drawing a watermelon so there's a big shape here for the watermelon and some bananas. Instead of trying to draw each individual banana, I'm going to draw the big shape of the banana. And there are two apples. So I'm going to put one here, one that's overlapping, and one that's over to the side over here. Here. So now that I have these big shapes, now I can go back into them and put in a little bit of detail that's in these shapes and you notice that I just went right here and I just overlapped and drew right through it because often what you want to do is like imagine that you can see through the object so here's the top of the apple and you gotta think about the plane of that apple like the top of that apple and the light here light the light of this thing has a shadow coming off the side here. The darkest part is at the base of the will be at the base of this apple here. So now that I have the cluster of bananas. I can look at the negative space that is made inside. So when I'm drawing I look at both the the negative space and the positive. So what helps if you're looking while you're drawing if you look at both the negative space and the positive it'll help you to draw the object so constantly looking at and also looking at relationships of shapes here so this has like a back here the back and the back here okay so you can see like this is kind of like in a rough state Yeah, so I just go in and clean this. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the shading with the water soluble pencil because it you'll see that it makes 
light work of this. Or sometimes that would just you make a quick wash drawing with the watercolor. What helps with the water soluble uh, lead is that you can put down a lot of tone fairly quick. And then when you finish, 
if you even if you put down a little bit more tone than you'd like you can go back in with the eraser and pull out some tone and draw I always think about the, the, the eraser not just as just something to co make corrections but also as a tool to draw so you can go back in and and pull pull tones out and then also with the white pencil I can go in and add and some people even will take a uh, the white paint and put in the highlights but in this case we can just go in and just kind of like white pull tones out this way <laughs> 